الم يان الذين امنوا ان تخشع قلوبهم لذكر الله isn't it time for the believers that their hearts are humbled for the remembrance of Allah being steadfast is not just in Ramadan striving has to be continuous and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praise those who strive in the ladina qalu rabbuna Allah thumma istaqamu those who say our lord is Allah they are upon tawhid thum, they are upon sincerity thumma istaqamu then they are upright fulfilling tawhid in statement and actions in ibadah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whether that ibadah is the ibadah of the heart the worship of the heart the worship of the limbs and the worship of the tongue the worship of the tongue the dhikr of Allah the istighfar the tasbih the qira'at al-Quran the recitation of the Quran that is the worship of the of the tongue dhikr istighfar dua and the worship of the limbs the bowing the prostrating only for Allah qul inna salati wa nusuki wa mahyaya wa mamati lillahi rabbil alamin wa mahyaya wa mamati lillahi rabbil alamin say my prayer my sacrifice my life my death is for Allah and that also signifies continuity all of it is for Allah and the, the successful one who is he who has given that for Allah alone la sharika lah for, for Allah has no partners wa bi dhalika umirtu and that is what i have been commanded with wa ana awwalul muslimin and i'm the first of those to submit allah says wal ladina jahadu fina those who strive in our cause wal ladina jahadu fina lanahdiyannahum subulana we will guide them to the good deeds the good paths of good deeds so guidance is from Allah no doubt the guidance of tawfiq belongs to Allah the enlightenment the guidance of enlightenment belongs to Allah and the guidance of al-bayan wal irshad of clarifying the, the way no doubt no doubt the prophets clarified the prophets and messengers and those that followed them upon righteousness they clarified Allah did not leave us in the dark ahasiba an-nas and you talk a suda do people think that they will be left alone without cause allah did not leave us without cause without reason <coughs> allah showed us allah showed us that which will give us salvation that which will harm us he warned us against and that which will aid us he showed us ahasib al insan an yutrak a suda no. Does man think that he will be left alone without cause? Of course Allah did not leave us without cause. And Hafiz al-Hakim he mentioned that which is similar in one of the lines of poetry. Naam. Where he said, "Bal khalaq al-khalq liya'buduhu wa bil ilahiyati yufriduhu." Rather Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the creation so that they may worship him. And that they may single him out in worship, not associate partners with Allah. In our worship, in our ibadah, should be only for Allah. Our prayer, our sacrifice, our fasting, our charity, not to be seen, not to be praised. The Messenger of Allah would do actions and he will say, Allahumma la sum'a wa la riya. <coughs> Good actions he will do and he will say, Allahumma la sum'a wa la riya. Oh Allah, I don't seek to be heard no, am I doing this for showing off? The believers, when they read the Quran, they will see the qualities of who are the believers. They're not just one off. They're not just, but rather they take the deen as a whole. Allah says, "Wadhulu fi silmi kafa, wa la tabi'u khutuwat al-shaytan. Innu lakum aduun mubin." And enter into Islam wholeheartedly, not just in Ramadan, wholeheartedly, and don't follow the footsteps of shaytan. He, he is indeed a clear enemy. Because if you don't take Islam wholeheartedly, if you start picking and choosing, then you will be from those who will follow the footsteps of shaitan. Shaitan is not going to tell you from the, from the uh, first instance, fall into this, slowly, slowly, you will fall into disbelief 
uh, eventually. First and foremost, he'll get you to remove uh, some of the affairs of the deen slowly, slowly until he's got you. And then how many people have fallen into this belief thereafter and fallen into shirk thereafter? Khutwat, steps of shaitan. Don't follow the footsteps of shaitan. He's a clear enemy and he's an enemy. We have to take him as an enemy. Not pick and choose. Rather, we have to strive every day. Shaitan is an enemy to us. Do you think shaitan sleeps? Do you think shaitan sleeps in the daytime, the qailula? No. The messenger وسلم, said, Qilu. Take a short nap. The siesta, the short nap in the day. Take it. Qilu. فَإِنَّ الشَّيْطَانَ لَا يَقِيلُ Because shaitan doesn't take that nap. So even that nap he doesn't take. So, subhanallah, if he's not taking that nap, why? Because he's preparing for you to be tripped up. He's preparing for your destruction. Preparing for you to fall into the hellfire. That preparation is every day is following you and me. And you hear those whispers. You know he's whispering. Because he comes to the prayer. Whilst you're praying... And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praise the believers, those whose prayer is a prayer of humility. Allah says, قَدْ أَفْلَحَ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ الَّذِينَ هُمْ فِي صَلَاتِهِمْ خَاشِعُونَ Those who in their prayer, they have khushur. They have humility. And khushur and khawf, there's two different meanings. Both can be translated loosely as being afraid. They are afraid in their prayer, they have uh, humility, but Khawf is with the heart, from the actions of the heart. But al-khashya, khushur, this is, it emanates, that fear emanates in the limbs. So when you fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your prayer, you're not moving, except that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded you to move. Bowing, standing, but you're not moving around because that spoils your khushur. So khushur here, is with your limbs as well. It's not just with your heart. It emanates in your actions. So having fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, na'am, in your prayer, if you do that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded you, and keep away obviously from that which Allah forbade us, like talking other than that which we're supposed to say. And likewise, concentrating. Shaitan wants, doesn't want you to have khushu' in your prayer. Because Allah said, قَدْ أَفْلَحَ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ The believers are successful. And qad here in the Arabic language has come upon Past tense, قَدْ أَفْلَحَ It actually means in the Arabic language, at tahqiq it is going to happen. In actual fact, when قَدْ enters upon the past, it means a actualization. It means ish, a tahqiq that is going to happen. قَدْ أَفْلَحَ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ The believers are successful. أَلَّذِينَ هُمْ فِي صَلَاتِهِمْ خَاشِعُونَ Shaykh Abdul Rahman al-Sa'di rahimahullah in his tafsir of this, he said, قَدْ فَازُوا وَسُعِدُوا وَنَجَحُوا Yes, they have become, they're successful. Because why? They've, they're the ones who Allah saved them from the hellfire. Yes. فَمَنْ زُحْزِحَ عَنِ النَّارُ وَأُدْخِلَ الْجَنَّةَ فَقَدْ فَازُ Whoever Allah saves is not falling into the hellfire. He's just on the edge, just about to fall and Allah saves him. زُحْزِحَ Just about to fall and Allah saves him that, la, that person of course those who preceded him they preceded him but this one now is right at the end now on the edge of the hellfire and just because of a good deed that he did Ya Abdullah don't be of those who a ma'roof a good deed even though it's little don't this look at it as insignificant Every deeds are good. No matter how small they are. The most beloved actions to Allah are those that are continuous even though they are little. Even though they are, you may consider them to be small. But be continuous upon them. Allah loves those actions. So, قَدْ أَفْلَحَ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ الَّذِينَ هُمْ فِي صَلَاتِهِمْ خَاشِعُونَ فَازُوا He says, فَازُوا الفوز, That is the greatest Success is not that you have business and you have money and you have wealth, you have mansion, you have this and that. That's dunya all goes with your going. But the real foes, the real success, the real victory is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, الْجَنَّةَ فَقَدْ فَازُ And what is this life but play? 
uh, an amusement. Matah. It's only a short period of time, this life. It's not going to be forever. How, how old are we now? Look how time is flying so fast. Ramadan. Subhanallah. It went so fast. And look at the mercy of Allah. We fasted 29 days. 30 days in reward. Naam, because the month is either 29 or 30. And Sheikh Salih Fawzan said, even if it's 29 days, you still get the 30 days in reward. Allahu Akbar. This is a blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they are the ones who su'idu. They are the ones that are happy and content. The happiest people are the people of Tawheed. The people of sincerity. The people of the worship of Allah alone. They are the happiest people. Because they are continuous in their ibadah.